We'll guide you through how to use shaders with Minecraft mods. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Shaders really go and improve the looks of the game. They go and add in different lighting effects and different shadows. So we'll guide you through how you can go and add them when playing with mods. In this case, we're going to be focusing on Minecraft Forge, which is a certain type of mod loader. Here we are on my desktop. And so what we need to do is go and open up a web browser of your choice. So to go and get started, we need to go and get something called Optifine. This goes and enhances and optimizes Minecraft and it allows us to go and add shaders. And after that, we'll go and get Forge. And with Forge, you can go and get Forge mods for Forge. Go and type in Optifine like so and come to Optifine.net. Then what you can do is go to the top and go and press downloads. Now we can go and choose the version. Personally, I like to go and get the most up-to-date one. If you already have Forge, then make sure you go and get Optifine for that certain version. Now it's important to note you may need to go and reinstall Forge for the Optifine as well. You can see the Forge version, which is going to work to the right here. I'll go you through how to do that in a moment. I'll go and get Optifine for 1.21.4. You get taken to an ad or offer wall here. Just be aware if your download button is for the ad, you need to click the skip button in the top right. Then we can go and press download like so. What you want to do is go and press back here and get back to the Optifine list. And you want to then open up a new tab and we need to go and get Forge. So you can go and type in Forge Minecraft like so. And you can then come to the Forge site. You want to come to the left and we need to make sure we go and get Forge for the right version of Optifine we got and the other mods. So I got it for 1.21.4. I'll select that to the left. And we need to make sure we get it for this version, 54034. So we can come back to Forge and then we can press show all versions. We can scroll down and find 54034 and press installer to the right. Once again, remember this is an ad here. So if you see a download button, it's for it. You can press the skip button in the top right. A big shout out to the sponsors of today's video, Apex Hosting. If you're interested, I'll put a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. At the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So it's definitely worth checking them out. If we scroll down, we can go and start checking out some of their great features, like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, ultra latency, instant setup, and so much more. Next, we need to go and get some shaders. So what you can do is go and type in CurseForge like so and come to curseforge.com. Select Minecraft and you can select browse all at the top and you want to scroll down and to the left, you can select shaders. You can go and choose a pack. You can click on them and go and preview how they look. In this case, I'll go and get this one here. I'll go and click on it, press files at the top, and we can then go and download it. I'll press the three dots to the right and press download file. But you can browse through and find a pack you like. While I'm here, I'll just go and get a mod to show that it works. So I'll go and get it for 1.20.4. This requires balm, so I'll go and get that as well. Open up your file explorer and come to your downloads. To get started, install Forge. Double click on it like so, it should go and open up. If it doesn't, maybe nothing happens or something else happens, make sure you've got Java, you can go to java.com. Here you can go and download it and install it. Return to Forge, right click on it, and you can press on open with, and then press Java TM platform SE binary. Make sure you then say install client and press okay. We've now successfully installed it. If it still won't run, you may need to do something called a jar fix, which links jar and jar files together again. Open up the Minecraft launcher. At the top, you can go and press installations, scroll down and we need to go and find Forge, hover over it and press the open installations folder button. In here, you can go and scroll down and go and find the mods folder. If you've got any mods for other versions in here, make sure you delete them. Then we can come to our downloads and we can start going and dragging in what we went and downloaded. So I've got Optifine and I've then gone and got the mods like so. We can then close out of this and we can come back to the launcher and go and press play. If I press mods, you can see the mods there. So if I go and open up my inventory, we can use the arrows to see I've got the waystones installed. If I pause the game, press options, then video settings and shaders. We want to press shaders folder. And then what we can do is go and drag in the shader pack like so. I can go and replace it as I have them installed already. You can then go and double click on the pack. Minecraft will go and reload and shaders are now going to go and be enabled. As you can see, this is absolutely great. 